Hey everybody, today I'm going to fix a roast with um, the beef and vegetables in it. And I've done this roast before, um, but I thought I'd go ahead and show you again. And the star of the video is the biscuits. And I, by accident, made up this recipe, or I think I made up the recipe. Anyway, they were the lightest flakiest, most delicious biscuits that I have ever had, and I wanted to share with you what I did. It was all having to use what I had on hand, and I was really proud how they turned out, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how I do the roast again, and when the roast is about ready, I'll come back, and I will make those biscuits for you. So, I have a big roasting pan, like a turkey pan. This is probably going to be a little big, but the next smallest size I had was too small. But to this, I'm going to put <coughs> my roast in. <coughs> Excuse me, it was 2.23 pounds um, London broil, 684 a pound. So it was fifteen twenty-five for the roast. And there probably won't be a whole lot of leftovers with the meat. But I'm not a huge meat eater unless it's spaghetti. So um, if there's not enough for me, that is okay. So next, let me rinse my hands. So the next thing I'm gonna do is put some of these baby carrots in. And if you have big carrots, you can always cut them up to the size you like. So I'm gonna put, my son and I like carrots a lot, so probably that'll be enough carrots and my hands didn't touch the meat that time. Okay, on top of that, I have potatoes, which I've made about an inch square, something like that, and then big chunks of onion, because we love to get a big old mouthful of onion when it's cooked like this. It is so good. So for you non-onion loving uh, people, you can cut them smaller or just not have onion at all, but it really does give such a good taste. And so next, I'm gonna put some garlic salt. You just have to be careful that a bunch doesn't come flooding out. Okay, that was probably a couple tablespoons worth. You add whatever um, spices that you feel like you would want. I'm gonna put some pepper, probably, probably close to a tablespoon of pepper. I'm not gonna put salt since I put the garlic salt. And I'm gonna put some of this garlic that I made a while back. This stuff is so good. I just can't tell you enough how good it is. And the oil in it is infused with the garlic. So it's um, just really good. And I am putting some of the oil in there. It's um, olive oil. So I wanna get plenty of the garlic and maybe that should do it. That's probably at least half a cup of garlic. I 
I want to hit that on there, but I don't want to give anybody a headache. Okay. And the next thing I'm going to do, and I discovered this by accident. One day I didn't have um, anything to put in the roast as far as tomato juice, tomato sauce, any kind of tomato. So I did have ketchup. And I want to say this gives it such a rich, good flavor. And I like to use a lot as you will see, you do you whatever you think is, will work for your family. I love you wouldn't want it as rich as what I do, I'm sure. But I probably used close to half of this bottle. And this is a 64 ounce bottle, so I probably used about 32 ounces of ketchup. And then to that, now you're going to have broth coming from your meat. So you don't want to add too much water. So I'm going to add about a cup. And I can check later when it's cooking. And if I think it's looking a little dry, I can just add a little bit more water. But I think this will be fine. So here it is, all ready to go in the oven. And I'm going to cook it on 350 for maybe five hours or so when the meat's tender. The rest of the vegetables will be done. You can also add celery to this if you want to. I like celery okay when it's cooked, but the rest of the family doesn't care for it, so I just don't put it in. And um, I'll come back and we'll make those biscuits and fix a plate of food and see what we have. The roast has finished and I tasted it and it is really, really good. And so I'm gonna go ahead and make the biscuits and that's what will be for supper is the roast and biscuits. And so several days ago, <clears throat> I um, wanted some biscuits really bad and I went to make them and I didn't have milk. So what I used in the place of milk was sour cream. And I thought, I really hope these don't have a strong sour cream taste. Well, they didn't have a sour cream taste at all. They were the most light and fluffy biscuits that you'll ever eat. They just, um, I just cannot tell you how good they were. So, people using sour cream in the place of milk may be something that people do. I've just not heard of it. And um, so, anyway, that's what I did. So, we're going to make them today so you can see how light they are. And since I put the roast on and you saw that earlier, I've been to the dentist and I had this post put back in that had come out. So I had a little bit of surgery and I'm not going to be able to taste the food because it's pretty painful right now. So anyway, let's just get started. So I have my mixing bowl. And I'm going to try to tell you uh, amounts that you will need. I'm going to do two cups of flour. So there's one. It is raining like crazy here right now. I love it when it does that. And there is two cups of flour. To the two cups of flour, I'm gonna use some Crisco. This is the way my mom made biscuits with Crisco. And I always get some out with my hand. For two cups of 
I think that might be a little much. For two cups of um, flour, I'm going to say this is half a cup of Crisco. And so, we will put that in and I've lost. Here it is. Okay. So, just do that around. Kind of twirl your fingers in the flour as you have the the uh, Crisco in your fingers and it will blend it all up kind of like it's marble in a way or that's not a good example it's anyway you know what I mean little pea size shapes in here okay to that I add some butter and this butter has melted, but I just like to have a butter flavor. Some people chop this up into little tiny pieces of butter. I don't. I just pour some in there and get the butter flavor throughout the biscuits. So just do mainly like you did with the Crisco and twirl it around. And if you can see, you just have little um, bits of flour mixed in with your Crisco and your butter. Next, we're gonna take the sour cream and I am going to start with what I feel like is about half a cup. So, I think I need a little bit more than that. And that is my guess on a half a cup. Which, you know, my guesses are on the big side but you want to stir this around and get your flour all incorporated into the sour cream. And I do think this is going to be enough. Now, depending on what, how much you make, you may have to mess around with it a little bit and see what works for the amount of flour that you're using. But this is made a nice dough ball. So I want to take that spoon out or I will forget it. And so I'm going to, this is just a baking sheet and I'm gonna use the back side of it to roll my biscuits out and I'm going to put a little flour on here so it doesn't stick and I'm going to make sure to get a little on my hands and I like nice thick biscuits where you have a lot of the soft center so this is probably about a half inch thick. And I have, I have my pan here to put the biscuits on. So put a little flour on your cutting thing and just cut straight down. I'm gonna put a little bit more. And then put these over on your baking sheet. And sometime, give these a try 
even though you may have milk in the house, just so you can see how good these are. And it's, this is as thick as I have them, and all this is gonna make about half a dozen biscuits with a little baby biscuit. When I was a kid growing up, I always got the baby biscuit. So I'm gonna put that on. Here are our biscuits, and I'm gonna cook this on 400 degrees. Uh, they probably will cook about 15 minutes, but we'll see. And as soon as they're done, I'll be back. So the biscuits are done, and let's have a look at them. Um, they went about 22 minutes. It really depends on how big you make your biscuits and stuff as to how long they would cook. And then I'm going to take one. They, as you see, it didn't stick at all. And I'm going to cut into it and let you see the inside. It's just as tender and flaky as it can be in light. And a little butter in there would be so good. But they're just, it's like holding nothing. They're so light. And then we're going to get a little roast. Not sure if I let you see that or not. So, here's how it came out. So, I'll get. bit of carrot there and this is supper so I hope that you enjoyed watching and I hope you learned something I hope you give these biscuits a try because I was really not expecting a whole lot out of a sour cream biscuit but i was so pleased and surprised so if you'll give them a chance uh it's likely you'll be surprised and pleased too so anyway um as i said i can't taste it i did taste a little bit of the rice just the broth but because of my dental work today i just can't so Anyway, have a wonderful day, and I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.